Good morning, Earth Signs. Welcome back to Emperor's Light Tarot. It's me, Tony, back with your spiritual messages for today in regards to love and romance. Coming to the video, liking the video, and subscribing to the channel so that we can continue to grow and that I can put out more messages like this in the future for you guys. So, Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. <laughs> you guys are up next. We're going to be doing a, a group collective reading for you guys first, and then we will be doing individual signs for you guys. So check for the follow-up readings. It is about 4.15 a.m. in the morning. So uh, with all this extra energy that I have, <laughs> I decided to, you know, go ahead and get you guys uh, messages out. All right. So um, check your moon, rising Venus, north node placements. I've already put out the air sign readings and the water sign readings. And I'll be doing the fire sign readings at some point in the morning as well. But let's get into your messages and see what spirit wants you to know in regards to love and romance. What's headed towards you in regards to the matters of the heart? Who wants to connect with you in romance? All right. All the messages may not resonate, so, you know, sit back and relax. Enjoy this mild therapeutic session, at least for a source of entertainment. Let's get to it. Highest messages of love and light. We got two jumpers. I'm going to put them back in, though. King of Bubbles and the World card. Hmm, good omens, possibly. Could be connect, connect, connecting with someone online in regards to romance. But Spirit, may I please have the highest messages of love and light for our Earth sign collective today. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. What are the romantic messages? What do they need to know at this time in regards to the matters of the heart? Alright, so we'll pull the top five. And then we'll take a look at the bottom. So there goes one authentic jumper. The lover's card. Yeah. It is air sign. It's communication. It's Gemini. It's indicative soulmate energy. I'll shuffle one more time. At the bottom of the deck, we have judgment. Action being taken. Spirit trying to get your attention. This could be a reflection or possibly a past life connection. The judgment symbolizes life reflection. It symbolizes uh, time to take action, time to make a judgment call. It also symbolizes a earth angel type energy, a possible motivational speaker. But yes, definitely spirit or the universe trying to get your attention, right? Blowing that horn. So that's what's grounding the reading here. Judgment, time to take action. And the first jumper, number six in the numerology is the lovers or the twins, as I put it in my do-it-yourself tarot deck. So a good start for the Earth Sign Collective. You may be communicating with a air sign. We have five of a bubble showing up. Some sort of a change in your emotions, right? We got the six of gems. Okay, so reciprocation here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Balance. This could be someone uh, volunteering time or donating time or so on, some sort of a grace or charity in this situation. All right. So with this being a love reading... And the energy of the person coming towards you, you could be you could be having a Gemini coming towards you. This person possibly has recently experienced a loss or some sort of a sadness, or could they could just be looking for some sort of a change up in romance. Right. Possibly want to take you out on a date or something like that, or offer you a gift. Yeah, Ace of Wands, mm -hmm. new beginnings. So this is a new beginnings and relationship. Someone wants to experience something new in regards to love. Your last card, the Three of Embers. Yep. Ace of Embers is a burst of inspiration, a burst of uh, passion and creativity. And Three of Wands is that, um, you know, waiting for your ships to come in or someone ready to take action. For me, it's my meeting you have way card. And, of course, their alarm starts, right? <laughs> uh, let's see. But overall positive energy, I would say, so far, yeah. For Earth sign collectives, um, we just recently had a Libra full moon and the eclipse, so relationships are taking precedence, right? Whether you're just networking or these are strong relationships, possibly marriages, or people wanting to enter new unions or just exposing their emotions at this time. But yeah, first card or the jumper was twins, Gemini, air sign. You could be dealing with any air sign, but the lovers symbolizes Gemini. It symbolizes actually um, soulmate energy. 
So someone wanting to experience kinship with you or they can see themselves being close friends with you or having some sort of a uh, strong romantic connection with you, right? This would be some sort of a change as well. This would be like someone that ex recently experienced a loss and now they want to try something new. Possibly like, for example, dating outside of their culture, right? The six of gems, right? Typically donations, right? For you businesses out there, you wouldn't know what it's like uh, super chatting or providing something uh, for someone and being and getting a repayment. I mean, for me, it's a Libra card. You know, Libras are pretty much martyrs or typically they deal in business, right? Salesmen and that sort of thing. So your person, uh, the person that's coming towards you, they could be a salesman. They could be into motivational speeches as well. So they could own some sort of a platform where they speak uh, and then, of course, we have the Ace of Embers, right? Maybe they're very creative. Maybe there's some sort of a traveling speaker as well. Reminds me of a TED Talker, right? The Ace of Wands is also one of the most phallic cards in the deck. So this person is um, attracted to you, right? There's chemistry brewing here. And then the Three of Embers, they're wanting to contact you. They're wanting to come towards you. Possibly wanting to let you know about this uh, excited passions or this thrill, uh, this new... Um, new beginning that they want to take with you right. so that is what i have for you here today earth signs like the video subscribe to the channel so that we continue to grow check out your individual signs which i'll be recording next and i'll catch you in those videos peace